Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ruchika from Caterpillar Designs. In today's video, I want to share with you how I created this home decor wood sign. For this, you will need four small wooden blocks in the shape of a house. I bought mine at Michaels. You will need some paints. It can be acrylic paint or chalk paint. You will also need the alphabets H, M, E and some wooden embellishments that can replace the letter O. This is completely optional. The first thing I'm going to do is to take some watered down brown paint and paint all the four blocks. After painting each side, I am wiping it down so that it looks more like a wood stain than paint. If you have wood stain handy, you can even use that. Once I'm happy with the color of the wood, I take my compass and draw circles on all the four blocks. Now I take some mint green paint and carefully paint inside the circles. I give it two coats for proper coverage. After it dries, I give the circles a black border with my compass and Sharpie permanent marker. If you are confident and want to do it freehand, you most certainly can paint the border. For the next step, I decide to use a stencil and paint some small flowers on the base as I felt they were looking a little blank. Again, this is completely optional. Here I have taken some masking tape and stuck them upside down and then place my alphabets on them so that while painting the letters they don't move around and I paint them easily. I am painting them with a foam brush in a dabbing motion so that there are no brush strokes. For the elements that will go in place of the letter O, I am painting them a bright mustard color so that they stand out. Later on, on second thoughts, I changed the color of the bigger embellishment to white because it was becoming too much of a color. I varnish all my wooden blocks with a water-based varnish. In this case, I am using Minwax polyacrylic varnish, but you can use any that is locally available in your area. Make sure you cover all over. For the final step, I will glue down everything in place and that includes gluing all the blocks together as well. I am using tight bond premium wood glue in this case. But you can use whichever brand of strong glue you have and then just leave it to dry naturally. Also make sure you wipe away all the excess glue on your piece. And that my friends is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful and easy to try it yourself. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All my social media links are in the description below and you can follow my work on all social platforms. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Happy crafting!